you have a statue of Tsongkhapa, and you make offerings, and you make prayers, and you do it constantly, you will get results. You will get results. So if you say to yourself, my teacher hasn't assigned me any special idam, who's my idam? Tsongkhapa. Well, Rinpoche gave me a statue the other day of this um, Tibetan man with a yellow hat on. What's that? Tsongkhapa. What mantra should I recite when I go home? Tsongkhapa. What meditation should I do? Tsongkhapa. You're getting the picture. Very smart, huh? Should I set up an altar and make offerings? Wat Buddha. Tsongkhapa. Why? Because you want compassion. You want wisdom. You want love. You want all of that. Because you want all of that, you must tap into something that has that energy. Never put money, greed, time, pleasure, pain in front of your spiritual practice. Because at the time of death, only your spiritual practice can help you. Never. Never. Nothing else can help you. That must be your priority. The second reason is, if you put your spiritual practice first, everybody around you, you'll make them happy. Isn't everybody's happiness worth it? That's the reason you should put it there. So who's, what is a yi dam? Yi is mind, dam is the whole. Yi dam is something that holds your mind, holds your mind from anger from jealousy, from acting out, from harming, from damaging others. A yidam is something that holds your mind. And we don't need a lot of exotic deities in the beginning. We take Lama Tsongkhapa as our yidam. We worship and practice Lama Tsongkhapa and we do his mantra. Whether it is Om Ara Fatsa Nadi, that's his first mantra, or Om A Guru Benza Tara Sumati Kiti Siti Hong Hong, second mantra, or the third one, Ming Me Tewe Tejin Tian and Zik, Jim Kim Be Umbo Jamba Yang Jovo Mayu Jomze Samway Da, Ganjin Kebe Juchin Songaba, Losan Travi Shava, so on that, or you do that third one. It's up to you. But do it every day. And if you're tired or sick or just out of it, do just 21. Omar Bazanati, Omar Bazanati. Continuity is very important. I'm not here to convert you to become Buddhist. I'm here to convert you to become happy people. And this is one method. So who's your Yidam? Lama Tsongkhapa. What is Lama Tsongkhapa? Lama Tsongkhapa is a representation of what you're going to achieve inside of you. So you should wear a Lama Tsongkhapa pendant. The minute you get up, you wear a Lama Tsongkhapa pendant. I know one Rinpoche who wore his Buddha pendant. I, I stayed with him in Delhi. He wore his Buddha pendant at night. He would take it off and put it at the front of his bed, like that, and he would make three prostrations to his bed. Then he'd go to sleep, because I sleep nearby him. And then when he'd get up in the morning, then immediately, he would make three prostrations to the Buddha pendant, touch it to his head, and wear it. You know why? Because to him, the pendant wasn't a Buddha pendant, it was a Buddha, and he was wearing it. Every single day, I saw this, I watched. So, you should always wear your Buddha pendant. Give gifts, it's very blessed. It will protect you. It will protect you. And you should do your Lama Tsongkhapa prayers every single day. You're a normal, whatever person, you do your prayers. Why? It helps you to become really normal. Who's your Yidam Lama Tsongkhapa? You do your mantra, you do your prayers. And along with that, you do your study. When you study Buddhism and apply it, I promise you, you will transform. You will change. All the high Lamas, in the monastery that I came from, they become great masters and great people, not because they just pray, because they study Buddhism and they apply and they transform themselves. When you're in the presence of some of these old monks, some of these old nuns, when you're in their presence, you just cry and cry and cry. Before they even speak, you cannot stop crying. You know why? Because they exude so much compassion and love and you never felt it. Some of you, when you come in my room to meet me, I cry too. <laughs> I just can't stop crying. <laughs> you tell me all kinds of lame excuses, lame stories, and poor me stories. I, I just can't stop crying. But it's a different time. It's still crying though, you know? I still need a tissue. So, I met these great masters, and I know this works. 
I am not here in this beautiful country teaching and talking because I don't believe in what I'm talking about and I didn't see results. I'm from the monastery. Remember, I'm from the USA. I grew up in the USA. I don't think you Anyways, um, I'm from the USA. And they teach you to be skeptical and to doubt and not to believe in anything supernatural and mystical. That's how we are raised. And when I went to India, and I saw the monks, and I saw my gurus, and I saw the high lamas and teachers, and I saw how they were, it turned my mind completely around. So I am not sitting here teaching you something that I don't believe. I am not teaching and sharing something with you that doesn't have results. I am teaching you something that I saw some of the monks in the monastery achieve, and I just go, wow, I want that. I will never do what many people do. I will never get stuck in the situation that you guys get stuck in. I will never go into the quicksand of life, ever, because I saw through and through the suffering it brings. So therefore, today, I wanted to talk about Lama Tsongkhapa because it's Lama Tsongkhapa Day. It is Lama Tsongkhapa Day. If you want yourself to go to a good place when you die, pray to Lama Tsongkhapa. Now, daily, small, a little bit, a few minutes. If you want your children to have merits, you do Lama Tsongkhapa for them. If you want to repay the uh, kindness of your parents, you do Lama Tsongkhapa. If you're confused in life, you do Lama Tsongkhapa's mantra, you get wisdom. If you're doing study, you do Lama Tsongkhapa. If you're very sick, which I hope none of you are, if you're very sick and you're not well, or you have something serious, really, do this form of Lama Tsongkhapa, the long life mantra. It's a slight variation. Do this form. If you want to extend your life, you do this form of Lama Tsongkhapa with this mantra, it will move the chi in such a way that it clears blockages and extends your life. If you want to be less depressed, you want to have more clarity of the mind, you recite Lama Tsongkhapa, Migme Tewe. Migme Tewe Techin Chanazik is the best opponent to depression. If you want quick wisdom, Omar Basanadi. If you're feeling really angry, really frustrated because somebody did something and you know that it really is them, it's not you, just calm down, think about Lama Tsongkhapa, Omar Basanadi, Take a deep breath. Why? It'll all pass. So your Yidam should be Lama Tsongkhapa. Lama Tsongkhapa, your Yidam. Lama Tsongkhapa was predicted by Buddha. Lama Tsongkhapa is the founder of my monastery, Gandhian Monastery. Lama Tsongkhapa is the root guru of even the first Dalai Lama. 14, right? Even the first one, the root guru. The first pension lama's guru is Tsongkhapa, the first pension lama. So when you do Lama Tsongkhapa's prayer, it's very powerful. So today, I gave you a little bit of explanation on why Lama Tsongkhapa sits like this or like this. What's the significance of having a statue? And if you have a statue, don't leave it empty. Get thumb drives. Fill it up with thousands and millions of Lama Tsongkhapa images and fill it up and in between with popcorn or mantras. And keep that Lama Tsongkhapa statue, if you're allowed to, in a very beautiful place with nice offerings, clear with incense, and every day sit in front of Lama Tsongkhapa on a chair or on a cushion and do Lama Tsongkhapa's prayer every single day. You will see a difference. If you're able to go to school, work, and do all that to invest in the happiness of your life, why don't you invest in the happiness of your life through a higher means, spirituality. Lam Tsongkhapa is the man.